Hello everybody, this is Toys R Us and welcome to another edition of What's Happening Wednesday. This is a weekly roundup show that I like to do on this channel, which again gives me the perfect opportunity to do exactly that. Keep you guys updated with things that I find going on in the world of Transformers. I let you know what's happening with this YouTube channel and of course my Instagram, which is toys underscore R Russ. Got about 13 things to go through with you in part one. Uh, because yeah, as always, there's just so much going on in the world of Transformers. We've got a complete mix of movies, third party figures, official figures, etc., model kits. And we're going to start off with this. This is something that we sort of know a little bit about. Apologies for the glare. If you want more information on this, head to TFW 2005 or T-Formers. This is, you can see there's a little chat down there. This is all to do with Transformers 1. There was, of course, a big press conference for that last week. And what we were told is we were told that that is, of course, the voice actors. And that is a brilliant cast of voice actors. And this indeed here is one of the first promo images of the film. So there you go. That's looking like to be a Cybertron scene. Um, and again, really excited and hyped for this movie because it is, of course, all animated based on Cybertron and, of course, no humans. So that's well underway, which looks great. Then what we've got here as well, this is something that obviously I suppose was well and truly on the cards. This is RoboSense Optimus Prime interactive robot. Now, unfortunately, it's not fully transforming like the original RoboSense figures. It's a bit like the Bumblebee one that we saw not so long ago. Um, and just to confirm that here, I've got some information as well, again, from T-Formers as well as, as well as TFW 2005, just exactly saying that it's like the Bumblebee figure um that they did which had, they had interactive and they showcased uh, but he is going to be available from the 25th of may so i imagine we're going to get way more shots of this guy very very soon so it's still quite cool to be honest um but it will literally just be that you can control him with your phone he'll move up and down voice commands and all that sort of stuff however as i've said the only negative really is that he won't transform right Moving on, sightings, very first sightings is that we've seen, um, again, there's so many things that Transformers are just gonna be on at the moment. This is some first shots of some Rise of the Beasts walkie-talkie. So there's the front of the box and there's the back of the box. What's interesting, there's loads of Origin Jazz um, there on the shelf with them, but there you go, new product, again, just appeared from nowhere, Rise of the Beasts walkie-talkies. Right, now we've got some images. These are yet to, I think, appear anywhere in the UK. So this is the Studio Series game of figures. So obviously in the US they've got um, Optimus Prime's been out for a few days at least. Bumblebee is now out as well. So we've got a load of decent pictures here of him, to be honest. Again, I've got these on pre-order. I think they do look really good. Uh, proportions, uh, people might have a little bit of a moan about them, but of course it's based on the game. So, um, and they look very, very screen accurate to how he appears in the game. A little bit disappointed now obviously blades coming out of the forearms like the original figures however still really impressed with how this guy looks um the accessories on him look great as well and the fact that you'll see in a second that of course you can use them with other figures and i know this is something silly that i don't normally pick up on and point out but because this person's took a photo of it i'm going to highlight it as well i love the fact that you can store both of the weapons um of course in the robot mode on the back and indeed on the back and on the underside of the vehicle. The vehicle mode, again, for me, is the standout feature of this figure. Looking amazing. Really, really can't wait to get my hands on this, to be honest. Uh, that's what I mean by them there. And then you can see you can also collect, uh, store that underneath. And what I like about the shot of that is everything looks tucked away really kind of neatly, to be honest. Much, much better than the Optimus Prime. I know there's visible hands as well, but the Optimus Prime looks a little bit worse, I've got to confess. There he is with Bumblebee's we weapon and accessories. And there indeed is Bumblebee's backdrop, which again, just looks really, really good. Okay, moving on. What we've got here, I really like the look of this as well, to be fair. So this is Yolo Park's AMK series, and it's a G1 Megatron model kit. So Yolo Park do these amazing model kits, usually for like, of course, movie, the mainline movie figures, so they're much more detailed, much more intricate. So I imagine this is much, much easier for them because G1 Megatron, let's be honest, is quite blocky. So it's a new 20 centimeter tall model kit of uh, the Decepticon leader Megatron. It's got die cast parts, a wide range of articulation, including individually articulated fingers, several extra parts like a battle damaged chest piece, interchangeable, loads of things. Let's just show you some images. So there's a video as well. You can watch if you head to TFW 2005. And indeed, here's some promotional images of him. There's the accessories, hands, mace, sword, 
The chest piece is amazing. Key to Vector Sigma. The reason why it's highlighting this is they are the die cast parts on this model kit. So it's gonna be really robust, really high quality. And I like the fact that they've done that just to really highlight so we can see what is the die cast bits. There's all the accessories that you sort of come with them as well. And indeed, again, it's highlighting their ranges of motion, articulation points, and again, highlighting the die cast bits. There's the extra battle damage chest piece, which is just spectacular. Uh, there's some more of the accessor accessories, accessories, accessories that come with him. And indeed, of course, the different face plates, some beautiful promotional images here. And again, although I don't really collect the model kits, I'm very, very impressed with how this guy looks. Okay. Moving on, and um, I've showcased a couple of these, so I've split these into two videos in their video by themselves. So we've had some leaks of some figures. These are the two RED figures, which of course stands for Robot Enhanced Design. We've seen these briefly, but if you've not seen that video yet, we've got some test shots of Grimlock there. And indeed, I think this is the other one I didn't show. And then as well, we've got some more test shots, or sorry, test pieces of RED Starscream, but of course from the Transformers Prime Universe. Now, I take no credit from this, but I got these images from TFW 2005, um, and I couldn't help but read a couple of the comments on the underside of it, and I can't remember who it was, but they they, they brilliantly put it, unbelievably, they only had one mode, you know, to get right, and they still didn't manage to do it. I think they were referring to the Grimlock one, in honesty, because it doesn't look that great yet. Yet, maybe full color, who knows? Starscream Prime does look like Starscream Prime, but once again, these aren't really for me. However, I know that loads of people love these. So hopefully we'll have more information on these soon. Again, these images were leaked and are there on both, in pretty much most forums, but I get most of my images from, as I say, TFW 2005 and indeed T-Formers. Okay, moving on. Usually I get this from Weibo, but because I was on it there at this particular time, here is Magic Square's take on Swindle. So of course, this is to follow up the Brawl release that is G1 cartoon accurate to an absolute T. Stunning. There's the accessories. There's the foot. So I imagine, of course, we're going to get two versions, one with the silver foot as well. He looks absolutely spectacular. You can also go to their Weibo page to have a look at these images as well if you want. And I can give you details in a minute as to where you can pre-order this from and indeed with a code um, which would really help me out as well. There he is as a foot. And you can, of course, change the orientation. So there it is with the front of the wall, the, the top of the Jeep. And there it is with the back of the Jeep. So I like that little feature as well. I think that's good that you can do that. And there, of course, are the two together. This guy is going to look spectacular. Right, moving on. This is something I've actually got on pre-order already. This is Dr. Wu's take on Cosmos. And remember, these guys are even smaller than Legend scale. You can see the ball and sockets in the joints. Um, what I really like about this is the really, really, I suppose, inventive name for him. There you go, Space Disc. <laughs> and um, it is, of course, Cosmos. There he is in his alternate mode. But the best thing about these, because they're so small, they come packed as a two. This guy's coming packed with Ramjet. There is the packaging, and I've got that on pre-order, and I can't wait to get it now. This is something I think is spectacular. So again, I just have to show you again, apologies for the reflection. Somebody actually tweeted Stephen Capel Jr., of course, the director of the new movie, is the face of Optimus Prime in this movie designed off the legend and voice of Prime, Peter Cullen. He replied, he replied to this particular person. Yes, simple as that. Yes, he's confirmed, the director of the movie has confirmed that indeed Optimus Prime's new face is based on Peter Cullen. How awesome is that? So had to share that with you. So that's the reason why he looks slightly different and I'm more than happy for him to look slightly different because it's based on the man himself. That's just spectacular and that's made my day, to be honest, it really has. Okay, moving on, talking about Optimus Prime, another collaboration, another crossover. This is a power core power bank with Optimus Prime on it. So the details of this are it's $100, it's a two-in-one charger, power for three with two USB-C ports, a USB-A port, you can easily charge up to three devices at once, output 65 watt max, and if you want any more information on it, you can pause that now, or you can head to tformers.com and read it all. Here's some images of it. It's literally, of course, just a power bank, power bank with Optimus Prime on it, but that means more and more people will buy it, so great advertising techniques there as well. And these are just the promotional images for that particular product. Okay, third party news. 
I've been scouring Facebooks and indeed their Weibos. We are sailing part two. This is fans hobby. And of course, this is something that's gonna be going with Tidal Wave by the looks of it. Uh, somebody, there's loads of questions and loads of comments. I just clicked on them to give you an idea. Somebody put, how big will he be? And someone's put, based on the Naval Commander's super mode and what we can see in the updated prototype, will be bigger than he looks in that picture. So there's quite a few updates on this that's happened over the last few days. There's loads of comments on it. There's a video on the actual Facebook page with them rotating the guns on the top of it. And then there's a load more images that have appeared, again, via the Facebook page and I've just screenshotted these to show you. These are looking really good. Again, these are not out of my comfort zone, but as I openly admit and hold my hand up, I don't really know too much about these because they're based on the Armada or Unicron trilogy, that's it. So that's a huge black hole for me. I'm learning more and more every day. Thank you to everybody who helps me with the comments. Uh, but again, I still wanna share this with you. And if you wanna see this, head to Fans Hobby's Facebook page and just have a look. Okay, this is an image I took from Iron Factory's Weibo page. There, of course, are the female Seekers with the standard Seekers, so you can see they are a little bit smaller by the looks of it. Staying with third party, um, here again is some screenshots. There's the swindle I just mentioned. There's some of the new age figures. This is Shozy's pre-orders page. There is an absolute abundance, new age hound, upgrade kits, um, Iron Factory, everything. There's loads on there. There's the rest of, of course, the Magic Square Bruticus figures. If you want to order any from there, please, 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 it'd be a great help to use my code in the supporter reviewer. Toys R Us, all one word. There's a note of that at the very beginning of this video. It really does help this channel out and it's improving my knowledge every single day with what people are buying and things they're looking out for so I can then get them myself and review them. So huge, huge thank you to that. Thank you to everybody who jumped in on the um, live stream I did at the weekend. I'm going to make this, as I say, monthly, maybe even a bit more because everyone seems to ask for it. It's a great way to interact with everybody. Huge thank you to the channel members. A new member as well just joined, Andy Gold. Thank you ever so much. Really appreciate that. And again, everybody else who's been there, unbelievably now, some people for nine months. Massively appreciated. This channel's growing quite well now. Seven and a half thousand plus subs. Um, as I say, Instagram over 6,000. Looking forward to TF UK Con in a couple of weeks and everything else the year has in store. With regards to reviews, fingers crossed my dirge came today. I've had a notification. I've got to check when I get in. Uh, masterpiece Trailbreaker to do from Robot Recruits. And indeed, just whatever else I can keep. Try and keep up with everything that I'm buying or getting or that's come from the pre-orders, which is more to the point. And indeed, thanks to Adam, who's lending me lots of his Magic Square and indeed shows the products so I can review them for yourselves. Huge thank you, Tim, for that. Really appreciate it. And again, all to you guys watching, listening to this. Massive appreciation. I really appreciate it. Thanks very much. Take care.